Alright. I'm recording now, so nobody say the N-word. Tyler. <gasps> I take it you like my nuts. The N-word. You're fired. You just just gobble them all up, Mick. Hey, you'll get one more point. For your, uh, what was it, like, 500 point, $500? What? Oh. That's From the night conversation night. last night. Five hundred dollars for sucking dick. Oh. Oh yeah. And welcome to the video, everyone. Wait. Not <clears throat> just fucking left. He needed some privacy. <laughs> think about me. God, I am the worst of the group. Just, put, just thinking about me putting nuts, his nuts in his mouth. <laughs> Got him too excited. <laughs> hmm. All right, I'm gonna change all this information real quick. Just gonna dip my ball sack in his pizza. <laughs> There we go. Oh my god, it's still a cute picture. Okay. Ready to go? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, when last we left our heroes, it was the night it was the day after the potential at almost accidental fire. Mm-hmm. Day after the potential almost accidental fire. Yes, that, 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 I'm quoting that. Quote yep. me on that. Yep, I will. They received a, they had to have a, a uh, discussion with the principal who was furious at two different people. Jameson for starting a fire, and, fuck it, I'm just going to say Flynn Lucky <clears throat> for exploding a library. <coughs> <laughs> the, the jig is up. It was a book and maybe a couple books in the aisle. You exploded. And maybe at a pool. You you exploded one book, went, hmm, that's weird, and then did it two more times. And then exploded a, a pool. That too. And the then pool destroyed happened a classroom. First. Don't you, my ah, that's later. Yeah, that's later. Yeah, that's right. But he knows that that wasn't my fault that time. <laughs> he thinks so. Anyway. Yes. So, Jameson had to notify him about the real reason why they are there. And they have made several agreements. One of them being, Flynn Lucky's not allowed to teach anymore. For, uh, wanting to explode things. I have to carry the two of, uh, uh it seems Fisher Mountain does not require certain hand gestures. If you do it wrong, it explodes. They decided to inform Skither about the situation and to receive a new, another member of their party if as an extra. Huh? If you will get my ring. As an extra security guard. While well, in the process of this, they were noti uh, Skither notified them that one at least one of them needs to go back onto the ship, as uh, the rest Hector's family had returned. Flynn Lucky was the only one who proceeded. Afterwards, he told them that Hector had no choice but to tell his family about the stone being missing, but also notify them that they that uh, the trident, Salmanudarot, Triton, Triton shh, is also also possibly working with some pseudo cult members, so they had they gained some extra time to find them. Blood will be shed for all. Except for us. During the night, Salmon was attacked by a strange figure, and Jameson followed it to one of the to another abandoned classroom. I heard that. Lucky. Name. Sorry, Flynn Lucky, sorry. <laughs> I don't remember having any scenes of Salmon. And now as as Jameson went into the abandoned classroom, he noticed a tall woman. In ebony armor, talking to a weird ghost-like figure. 
the woman in armor disappeared, and now he's left to fight the ghost figures. Oh, yeah, we ended on that, didn't we? Yeah. All right, hang on a second. I was on my way, was I? Yeah. Oh, man, if, I, if only I was a sorcerer. Fucking... Next character, once this one dies. I don't think Jameson's gonna die. If anything, the sorcerer's gonna die before I even get to use him. That's how fucking frail sorcerers are. So you did something before you started the fight, right? I don't fucking remember. No, no, I know, I know you did something. Check the history. Uh, oh, spirit guardians. Yeah, you set that off. Spirit guardians. Yes. Um. So how big is this room? Is that is it like? Is it about 15 feet long? Like, I think this room is about 15 foot, feet long. From No, it's, wi you, it's wider than that. It's wider than that? Yeah. Okay. I would still reasonably be able to make all, uh, get all of them, though. Yeah. Okay. Um. Now, the wording is a little weird. It says when you cast this spell, you can designate any number of creatures you can see to be unaffected by it. Um, okay, so you can you have to see them. All right, and so it's a little more restricted than I thought. Um, so does that mean when us two So arrive? any, any <gasps> yeah, when you two arrive, you're going to be affected by this. Um, so anybody that's in this area, their speed is halved, and when you're, when they enter the area or start their t turn, they have to make a wisdom saving throw or take 3d8 uh, radiant damage. So on the start of their turns, they're going to take uh, what I just rolled here. Okay. And then on a, on a successful save, they take half the most damage. But do we need a turn order? Yeah. And a map? Oh, right. I forgot to say you guys to the map. <coughs> That's okay. We've been important. We can fight on the map. And but that's only if we enter the circle, right? Oh, fuck. We're fighting the bunny again. The bunny? Holy shit, this is a big glass room. Yep. Where are you at? Oh, I see Lawrence. And that needs to go away. <laughs> Hi, Lawrence. Point. Point. You're, you're, you're not here right now. I don't think I'll How fucking that. big are these desks, pilot? The fucking desk, the seat is 15 feet across. You know you we can change that. We don't want people touching. You know you can change that, right? The uh, amount of space that feeds are. Like... Yeah, I don't know that. Hang on. Okay. Just give me a second. I'll add my aura in myself. Wait, how'd you get the mustache? If one lucky on the field when the one I just changed it so it doesn't have the mustache. <laughs> you trust me to change question. it. Good question. I remember telling you you could change that. Change it back. So you just well, I can't <laughs> he's move it forced now. to have a mustache? I can't move it now, so I'm going to need non-mustache Flynn Lucky on the field. <laughs> this classroom ever, forever has a husk of Lawrence Professor Swig Dr. Uh, oh. Fishman the 12th. Okay, roll initiative. Okay. I'm going to keep him like that, though. Alright, my initiative. Oh, are we all? No, no, I... just just you and the and the enemies. Bam bam! It's not bad. Fifteen. Roll a seventeen. Where are they? Ba bump bump ba bump. Hi, Winter. I'm not here. So I'm not your wife, Kristen. Hi, Kristen. 
I thought you were entering with me. Two. Hmm? I thought you were with me. But have we entered now? Yes. No, no. Yeah, we're not you there. will be in the next turn. Order. <laughs> I'll just sit here in the corner. Masturbate. Looks like you had some more money to your thing. <laughs> what? Why is he getting paid to do that? <laughs> the thing he did last night. This is the what? This is... See, the real secret about the school is... It's, it's a actually a prostitution ring, and we should no. burn it to the ground. No, it's actually a stripper school. I don't like that. So, what's your initial? What's your speed? What's my speed? Yeah. You mean my dex bonus? Yeah, your dex bonus. Fuck. Minus two. Okay, so this thing's going first. All right. I thought he did, that one disappeared. No, no, no. The woman. That's a. That's something else. Mm. <clears throat> All right. You yeah, ready to do this? Sure. I don't think so. I think I'm Jameson's gonna like, like, finally. Oh, wow. He pulls out his Warhammer. Whoa, that's... I thought that was, like, the fucking song from, uh, uh, Kingsman, where the guy fucking kills all the people in the church. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was fucking banjos in my head. Sorry, it's taking me too long. That's fine. All right, how dare. How dare you not be perfect. So this one's going to run up to you. Wait, how it is, is that... Can it? I moved my character. Do you want me to move myself? No, back? no, no, you're fine there. Okay. Yeah, that's good now. It's a big fucking classroom. No, no. Where, where's the door for reference? Doors back here. I have to keep scrolling. Where where is it? All the way down here. All the way at the bottom. Yeah. Oh, so it's one of those classrooms. Yeah. Where do you go? This looks like a fucking altar. <laughs> I looked up classroom. This is what he gave me. All right. He's gonna need to take. He takes. Uh, this is 17... a necromancy school, right? Uh oh. He, he takes seventeen radiant damage immediately. Does he need to make a saving throw? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Saving. Wisdom saving throw. Or take half. And let me check if that's concentration based, because that is important. That's a six. It is. Uh, that definitely fails. He takes 17 radiant damage and instantly explodes, I'm sure. No, I'm kidding. Um. No, I, just don't I mean, um, if he has 17 less or less health, that's how I imagine. He just walks in. So what happens if uh, you're uh, vulnerable to damage? Is it double? Yeah. Wow. 17 plus 17. You have picked a bad day to fuck with me. What is that altogether? Someone tell me. 17 times 2? Yeah. 34. 34. Do I see that it does not like that? Yeah, it runs in there, and it's moving onto the ground, like, kind of like... It's, it's already the not, not feeling so good. About to claw at you, and Ugh. suddenly it engulfs in holy fire. All right, but it's still up? Yes. Okay, then I'm fucking... Uh, I'm fine. It's still its turn, though. Does it uh, Does it want to attack me? Yes, All right. it will. I hold, I raise my shield and my warhammer. Come at me, then! Uh, does it, critical hit. Does that make, does that, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what? Is the area around you considered uh, it is it, it is considered difficult ter terrain. So for every no, fight, no, not like light. Is it considered like a bright light? Let me double check. But yeah, every five feet of movement they do while it, within five fifteen feet of me costs ten feet of movement. Just keep that in mind. Um... It does not say it emits light or anything. Okay. But if the... If he's on fire, uh, I'm sure he's a bit I'm, I don't know what's that... going to attack. Does 16 hit? No, it does not. All right. <coughs> it's going to use his bonus action to, <coughs> to get out of there. Uh, What do you mean? Is it teleport? Shadow self. Shadow. While, while in dim light or darkness, the demon can take the hide action as a bonus action. I'm looking at it. It needs cover to do that, mm -hmm. to hide. I don't know. I don't know what the ability is. It's going to hide in the desk. 
Like, it goes through the desk. Interesting. Okay. So, uh, whatever these fucking things are, it's on the same space as one of them. Here we go. Okay. All right, your turn. All right. I'm just going to be like, ooh, this is fun. Weak to radiant damage, you say? Well, well then, I'm going to pop my radiant soul ability. Um, last for a minute, I do a little extra radiant damage, and <sighs> so I cannot see the creature that it, it went in the desk. Yeah, correct? it went through the desk. Okay, well then, no big deal. I'll just fi- I'll just fucking fire off a guiding bolt. Uh, fuck it. Uh, oh wait, can I do that? Can I do guiding bolt at higher levels? I could, but I won't. All right, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna aim for the the one in the middle. Uh, does a twenty one hit? No. That, does I'm it? Ki- I'm kidding. Oh, okay. Thank God. Alright, so this is going to do that much damage, and also an additional d Alright, stop talking. You throw down, it explodes instantly. Yeah, you watch as I... Or nobody sees this, I guess. But they watch as I just fucking explode with radiant energy, fire off a bolt, um, and then I guess I have my bonus action? What do I want to fucking do with that? You are not prepared for Nick. Uh, yeah, that's clerics in a nutshell. Anything that's weak to radiant damage, clerics and paladins. Oh, be glad I'm not a paladin. Um, I don't think I have anything for bonus action. Let me just double... Ch- oh, wait, no. That's my radiant soul. Okay. Yeah, that's in my... I'm gonna end my turn there. All right. So it is going to be the guy on the right. Seeing uh, that the the one figure took some damage from that light, it's going to not it going. They, oh. they already they have to make their wisdom save. They're within fifteen feet of me. Oh, yeah. It's either when they start it within it or when they enter it. So where's the save? Then? Hmm. I'm trying to find saves. Wisdom save. Um, okay, here we go. Uh, that's going to fail. How much damage? 17 double to 34. That one also explodes. Okay. Can you mark which ones are dead? <laughs> or just pull them out. There's an X one that you can do. Uh, here we go. Zawar! Oh, not, not really Zawar, but... Pathetic. Pathetic. All right, since Flynn Lucky's not here yet, <laughs> it's going to be the last imp's turn. Who? Let's see. Let's can see he? if he can he make the wisdom save. Uh, that's a natural twenty. So. So he takes half damage. Which is. Which is seventeen divided by two, rounded down to eight, to doubled to sixteen. What? Yeah. So on the if they save on the on the. It does half damage if they save, but what? since there's, I'm assuming this one's also r- vulnerable to radiant damage. It doubles the damage anyway. Um, do we, I don't think it has that now. The last one's different. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. So it's eight radiant damage after they saved. After it's got so the two explode and the one right next to it, it starts burning up, but it like it feels itself and realizes Pats it's out. not hurt. All right, so it's gonna come <laughs> in to attack you. That's fine. Do your best. Was it nineteen hit? No. Oh, flex it with the oh. shield. Yeah, I fucking raise up my shield and just like try again, bitch. I don't say so that. So that okay. That doesn't. All right then. Yeah. That's going to be the end of its turn, then. Okay. I think it's dead. And now, uh, roll initiative, Kristen. 
So you and Flo and Lucky just get into the room. Oh damn, that's nice. I oh, can't man. get my uh, little avatar in. That's yeah, Scott's got, Scott's got to put that in for you. Oh. Fuck. Oh, now I see Flynn. There he is. Yeah, He's in the, in the corner. corner. Yeah, I moved myself in the corner. <laughs> I just saw the picture, Kristen. <laughs> that's, that's so cute. Okay. I like to imagine there's just, like, blood and guts smeared all over fucking Jameson's face as he turns around and sees them enter. He's like, oh, hey, guys. All right, so you're right there. Wow, how'd you get that far ahead? Here, real quick, roll initiative, then I'll, then I'll edit it to give you the roll you just put in. You gotta click on your yeah, icon. Yeah, click on your icon, and then roll. <laughs> what? Wait, did you not put it in? No, no, no. Yeah, there it goes. Okay. Don't worry about it. And then... What the frick? I'm trying to move my, my token, and the entire screen keeps moving with it. Yeah. Where where is Flynn? Is he right next to? He's on the bottom right now. No, oh, I'm asking Scott. Yeah, where... he's supposed to be right next to our. We're there. He is. Yeah. I don't know what's going on, but my freaking every single time I try moving and there we go. Who keeps moving? Chris is left and right. I would assume it'd be him. Stop doing that. Don't worry about it. All right, Kristen, your turn. All right. Yeah, you just come in. He's covered in entrails. Uh, can I turn around and be like, don't get too close, as you you watch as fucking, like, 50 of my stands are circling around me. Well, that's good. Any- I don't care anyway, because, you know, I'm a, I'm a ranger, so yeah. I'm going to take my <laughs> Sorry, bow Nathan. out in silver oh, arrow. Oh, a problem being within range. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. So, do they have anything against silver? Um. Well, you only yep. see you only see the one, I assume, because that one, the other one's under the desk. Go ahead and try to attack. That hits. Uh, the two damage is if it's a beast, which I'm going to assume it's mm-hmm. not. Yeah. Shh. So, it tries attacking, you block it with this shield, it looks at his hand, wondering what's going on, and then it takes an arrow to the head and it's dead. But it doesn't... Okay. Alright. 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 It's probably only his last leg. Alright. Alright. Or it's a beast. Alright. Well, I don't know. We'll see. You have Jameson, a double... Jameson, is there any, anything else? I can't see them. Yeah, that's fair. Um, I... I I guess I'll I'll be like there's one under the desk. Can I crouch and see? If- is yeah I think the what what does this desk look like? Does it is it like an office desk where the front is blocked or is it like kind of like a teacher's desk where it's like open in the middle? Teacher's desk, okay. but you don't see anything when you crouch down. All right now. Okay, I actually have a second attack. Oh, so you do. I'm gonna move. Where's my ruler? Where's my stupid ruler? I can help. Yoop. Yoop. How far did you want to go? To where I can see. I don't want to be close to you. Oh, I mean, you can go, like, right there, I think. I don't know. Would that be within line of sight? Nope. No. You have uh, you have an, a tabaxi ability, right? That lets you dash as a bonus action? Mm-hmm. That's what I was going to use. Yeah. Figure that better than nothing. If you wanted to, like... You fucking want to get in melee range? <laughs> you still got ten more feet if you want to stay there. Um, can I go any further up? I mean, you can go right there. Oh, Scott, can she's I, asking if she's... Is she can I up here? go up here? Uh, yeah. I jump up here. Okay. Now am I in range? Yeah. Missy in range. Feline agility. You yeah. can't see it, but you are on the other side of the desk. I can't see it. No. So I just gotta shoot blindly. Yes. Wait. Does Hunter's Mark... 
I think no, you. I, I think to... you have to see it. Yeah, I have to see it. If it something's invisible, I believe you can still try and go for it, but it will be with disadvantage. Mm-hmm. I don't know what this thing's ability is, so. If I could just hit it with Guiding Bolt, then we'll be set, because that makes it so it can't be invisible. Oh! Kristen, I think you should go for take the shot. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. I'm gonna use a regular arrow, though. Why? Hmm? Because I have, like... 99 of those and only 20 silver arrows. Right. That way. But it's. No, no, I still use silver. Okay. Yeah, that part of me while I'm continuously eating this rock. Uh, so with disadvantage, that's uh, still a soft 20. That hits. Okay. Take that and divide by two. Take. Is it a beast? Is it a beast? No. Okay. I take then it's four, it four, to, four damage. Mm -hmm. So it resists And can it? I put nah. Hunter's Mark on it since I now know where it is? No. No. It. No. You, you gotta see so it. So you, you by chance fire the arrow and the thing like pokes its head out from inside the desk and you hear it cry as it you take it to the shot like in the shoulder. Okay, so just to clarify, is this thing invisible or is it just hiding? It's just hiding. Oh, okay. So I did see it for a brief second. For a brief second, yes. Mm -hmm. So I have a question. Could I have cast a Hunter's Mark on it? Give me the give me the stats for Hunter's Mark. It's a bonus action, but you have to see it. Mm -hmm. Here, let me let me. Oh, sorry. Right. Yeah, I'll copy paste it. Chat. Rage. Don't spell it. You can deal extra. Do you have to like roll something to make sure it hits the target, or no? It just happens. You just mm -hmm. have to be able to see it, and then while she has it active, she has to concentrate on it. Mm -hmm. uh, she just does an extra d6 of damage mm -hmm. whenever she hits. I'll say and, yeah. And additionally, she has advantage on perception and survival checks to find it, I guess. Mm -hmm. That might be useful. Yeah, but I didn't... It doesn't count towards the any other of the hits, so... Yeah. Or the other hits, so... Because you did this last, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll, right. say, I'll say well, that. Well, because it popped his head out as the arrow was coming out. Because the arrow was just a blind guess, so that's, that's why I did that. Roll perception check, then. It says you get advantage, right? Yep. Yeah. It's gonna tell me, oh, this is just an ostrich. Or something stupid. <laughs> okay, perception. Yeah, you, you can see it clearly. Okay. It stuck its head out. Yeah, that's bad. It tries going back so into what, the desk. So what does it look like? I will share a picture of it. You get a brief glimpse of what it looks like. Because I would assume it's still dark in here. Yeah. Ooh, maybe that's what I should do with my... Yeah, but I have night vision. Oh, that's fair. I think we all have dark vision. Yeah. Well, this is what it looks like. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. Okay, interesting. <laughs> Flynn's like, guys, what's happening? It tries to hide back inside the desk, but there's still an arrow sticking out from the hole. Okay. And you use that uh, tag with Hunter's Mark. So I tag the arrow. Alright. It is now this thing's turn. Oh, I think I know what I want to do for my bonus section. I'm gonna go up to you. To who? Oh. To uh, Winter. Wait, one of the imps came back to life. Oh, I forgot the button. I what the fuck? Him. I thought he had an X through him, but I guess not. No, I never put an X on him. and jumps at, at one of the fucking bodies that moves. 
It's going to claw at you. Leave the pretty kitty alone. Uh, did it not roll? Nope. 21. Yep. 11 psychic damage. Fuck. Claws, wait, what? Would that be slashing damage? Because it's supposed to be claws? No, I... Oh, wait, whoops. I mean, that's thing. just my guess. I'm not trying to... Not again. I don't think I've... I've... I thought I was going to do this before. That's... That's weird. Is this like... I think... No, no, that second one was supposed to be if it rolled a nat 20. Well, you can just ignore that then. Yeah, okay, so you take 11 damage. So it's psychic damage. That's interesting. You call out and you feel your mind... Like, it's, you, you're getting a really like it bad doesn't even, It doesn't even connect with her, but, like, it just... You feel it in your brain holes. So I stumble. I take it. Yeah. Yeah. 11 psychic damage. And then it's going to do something strange. It's going to go inside you. <gasps> oh, no. I do not consent. <laughs> Your consent Stranger is not a factor. Stranger danger. And you take... Hang on. Oh, fuck. It's going to end his turn like this, so... Oh, fuck. You take four points of more psychic damage. What the fuck? Okay... Does it end its turn after that? Yeah, it ends its turn. I have a very important question. If I... Because my aura is centered around me. If I move, can I force it to take the damage too? Or will it just be... I don't fucking know. So I can't... I can't hit it, right? Like, I can't see it. I can't It's hit currently it. residing inside of her. But is it that, like... In her mindscape, or is it physically inside her body? It's physic. It's physically inside of her body. Oh fuck off! Okay. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I don't, I don't really have. Uh, just hit me. Hit me. You've already um, brought one back. You've already brought one people back to life. You can bring me back too. Okay, hold on. I'm trying to see what I have that's not concentration based. Uh, if you give me a minute, I can make a circle. Um, I do have revivify prepared, so fuck it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move close. How far? Can Alright, sorry about this winner. I'm gonna move right there. You know what? How much, how much move? I'm gonna move right up next to you so it can't escape. Because Now here's my next question. Do I have consent over my own actions or do you take over? You still have consent. Okay. It's got like... So I'm within uh, range of you. Do I have to take a wisdom save? Or can I just let it happen? You have to do that on the start of your turn. It's on the start of your turn if you're within range or when you enter. So, uh, I don't fucking know what to do. Because you, st you still have... Uh, can I push her? Just pick me up and... No, me. I mean, like, like that's actually an action you can take. You can push a creature five feet with contesting athletics checks. And if it's... Just... Here, yeah, let, me, let, me, let me bring up the what it just did, then. Move through... I think it takes five force damage if it ends its turn. So it should have taken that damage, Scott. Not Kristen. Oh! Yeah. Oh, I read yeah. that wrong. Okay, never mind. You don't. Okay, can we do? Do we want to turn that back? It probably would not be stupid enough to do that. No, I'm still saying you did that. Okay, then I'm gonna push Kristen or Winter. Sorry, uh, and you can choose to fail this if you want. Okay. No, you go you just shove her. Oh, natural twenty on the shove. Okay, so she gets pushed back five feet. And then I see it. Yeah, <laughs> I imagine. <you> see it. <laughs> How does it look? 
It looks demonic, but it's also Did very I take sacred. any uh, damage? No, no, it pushes. Just, just it's just a shove. Um, alright, I'm going to... I would actually like <laughs> to think you, like, swept me this way. <laughs> I mean, I probably could have. Um, so alright. Like, right over here. Well, I can but, only I can only do it five feet, so. Okay. Well, we're flanking it do anyway. I, oh, that's also true. So, do I get advantage on my hit? Yep. Scott. Yeah. Okay. That's a twenty-six. So that hits. Okay. All right. It's gonna do seventeen radiant damage. What is seventeen times two again? Thirty-four. All right, and like you push her out of sorry, the way. Sorry, sorry. Let me just twenty-one times two. That's forty-two radiant damage. So you push her out of the way. And just, and... just for sake of argument, uh, if it's still alive, uh, <laughs> it cannot turn invisible because it's glittering with dim light. Okay, I'm done. So, yes. you push her out of the way, and the demon's kind of like height, looked like it was like in a ball a bit, right? And it notices that it's, it's yes, no longer in the body, it looks left and right and sees you. And as you <laughs> fire that bolt, you see his eyes grow big <laughs> as it explodes. Fucking Homer screams. All right, then I'll instantly. Yes, yeah, Homer <laughs> scream. I'll drop a. Uh, uh, nope, nope, I'm gonna do my wisdom check. No, there, there are no enemies, right? Yeah, they're all Did done. I say? You did say, but you still Woo. take half damage. So that's why I'm dropping the Spirit Guardians immediately. I can do that as a free action. Yeah, the, the fight's over there. Congratulations. Right. Oh. <sighs> well, good. again, you were useless. <laughs> Flynn was there. <laughs> all right. Were there any bodies left? I would like to, like... They're all nothing but entrails, except for the, the one you just destroyed. It kind of... It's gone. Okay. Not by me explosion. It's just like it looked like it like disappeared. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I still have my channel divinities and my extra tax, so that's not all not all bad. I take a health potion. <laughs> did you take damn? Oh yeah, you did. All right. Before you do that, I'll just uh, healing hands you. Okay. Ooh, how much? Uh, how much does that do? Equal to my level. You get six hit points back. Six? Do you need more? Why don't I have fucking prayer, healing prayer? Prayer of healing. I should take that. So, while you guys are assessing what happened, you... three people walk in. I'd still need. Okay, you go ahead and do that then. Okay. So three people walk in. Who? Sarah, Evangeline, and the principal. The principal goes in first, like, what's going on? He sees the bloody mess, goes, it, they, like, splatter. I just, like, like, slow turn, like, the sound of stone grinding as I turn, and I just, like, have blood over half my face. He's like, leave now. Not safe. Slams the door in. <laughs> <laughs> You can hear the sounds of vomiting. That's an 18 on my intimidation. Like I said. <laughs> he slams the door and is just puking relentlessly. Clean that up. All right. <laughs> Sarah walks in. What happened? Oh my God. What happened to you all? I feel like this should not be the first. You should not be this surprised over blood. Um. But what happened to us? If you see me yeah. on the floor. Yeah. It was like the blood. Covered in blood. And I'm still, I'm trying to get this hell potion open. Is that I'm not used to seeing this much blood! Is anyone gonna help me open this hell potion? I'll help, the, I'll help you. I'll just like hold you in my arms like a beb. Newborn beb. I'll, and then you hear, you, event, you hear eventually going, guys, why is the principal throwing as she's trying to enter the door? Flynn, <laughs> Flynn, Flynn, block the door. Who's she's there? the elf girl that almost, yeah, that he almost oh, yeah, that's, that's yeah. right. Flynn, block the door. Don't let them in. Tell them it's a mess. And you trip and fall over everything. Because you can't light. see shit. I'll cast, I'll cast light on... Uh, no, no, I want to see him trip and fall. What's your weapon? Do you use a weapon? 
Uh, his only weapon are his fists. Well, you gotta stay within Bone some... club. No. Uh, you gotta stay within... I can, I can just climb a torch. <laughs> I mean, might as well. Actually, is there, like, a ceiling chandelier or, like, some sort of... Yeah, like, candlelight chandelier. Candlelight. I don't have... Just let her see and pass I'll out, have... then you can go save I the cast, damsel I cast, stress. I cast Thaumaturgy to light all the candles in the room. All right. Uh, now you have a better view of all the blood and gore he okay. splashed around good. in this room. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, I, I think to... I'm good. All right, that's good. Sarah brings in the prisma. She's, like, holding him. Do you have Goodberry by chance? Not yet. Damn it. <laughs> that would be really good. And so as he walks the... Sorry. I used to see that much blood. Anyway. All right. Well, um, what what happened? Demons. Well, demons. Okay, but he like points around. Him. What happened? We they killed exploded. Them. We killed them. Well, all but one. I don't think she was a demon, but more. There was uh, more. Out of que- uh, out of curiosity, can you describe the woman I saw again? Did she look like? A demon, or did she look like a humanoid? Yeah, she looked like a humanoid with red skin. Okay. So like a tiefling. Maybe. So kind of yeah. like more like a tiefling. I mean, horns. Her, she had she had markings on her arms. Okay, but she did. She looked like and, she was of this plane, correct? And big ass wings. All right. Yeah. Everything about her says no. She does not belong in this plane. Oh, she doesn't. Yeah. Okay, so maybe like a devil. Maybe. Maybe. Oh man, if only I was one level higher and you had banishment. Oof. Oh well. Um. But these are the demons? All this. That's what it looks like, at least. <sighs> well, uh. Good, good, good job, I guess. Uh, yeah, there might, there, there's, this isn't the last of it. What do you mean? Well, like I said, there was the one woman that got away. Um. Can I. Would I know what those were, or do you need me to roll something? Roll. I was just about to say that as I'm rummaging around there. Roll like, religion intern. or intelligence. I'm going to fucking put points into my intelligence next level up. Because I don't fucking know anything. Nine. No, you have no idea what wait, this thing is. Wait, what was the... Is into, uh, religion or what? Intelligence. No, they're both the same thing. Mm-hmm. Unless you have proficiency in religion, which I don't think I... I'm an 18. So, in your travels, you have heard of one of these before. They're called a Cambion. And... Imagine I'm, if, like, shoving fucking, my hands fucking into... winter is, like, I'm describing this. Imagine if a tiefling fucked a demon. This is a, this is a spawn. The, the things that are... These things? No, no. That, per, that woman. That woman. That That's woman is the spawn of the demons. Of a tiefling and a demon having sex. So it's called what? A cambion. So it's that like, sounds a lot like so a cambion. So it's like half demon, half devil, and half human? Yes. Okay. That sounds like a cambion. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> it was on purpose. Okay, do I recognize that word? Roll history. You could have just said no. That's a 19. So... Where you're from, you know, you heard of tales of Acambias. There have been many tales of them. Okay. What their job is, is they... The fall of much more greater and stronger demons has led to their creation due to tieflings and demons struggling. Mm. Their simple goal is trying to re- revive at least one greater demon. And I kind of relay that for the principal if he doesn't know that. Yeah. I guess, I'm guessing we're probably going to say all this out loud. All right, well, it's a good thing we have me here at the very least. Yeah. Um, do I find anything within the bodies or are they just... They're gore mess. You, you can't even find the one of the, the weird thing that went inside you. No, I'm saying, is there any sort of, like, I can't find anything. There's not nothing, even a, there's no, like, traces of, like, anything. Not even, like, a trace of magic, or... Do you have any daggers on them at the very any least? Any daggers? No. Or, no? Okay. okay. All right. 
Um, I guess if ten minutes pass, I'll cast Rebel Ritual cast Detect Magic. I mean, I can put them in a beer mug and then we can st- study them from there. Yeah. So, I'll, I'll say it takes ten minutes for you to fully explain what's going on. Yeah. Like the kip, like Pambian and whatnot. All right. Now, a lot of the mat there's now you do do you do cast the tech magic. There's a lot of it in that like surrounding like the walls, yeah, and the that, floors. That and makes you, sense. You can tell that's from the blood. There was the one of the the cambion going off to the left, and it's this is a very much more different magic, and disappearing. But uh, you do detect her somewhere else. Oh. Where? How far does detect magic go? It's not as... That's pizza. Okay, go get pizza, Nick, because I don't have pants on. Well, that's the best way to get pizza. Oh, wait, you already paid. <sighs> so how far does it go? Look it up. All right, I guess I'll just go fuck myself. Yeah, look it up. Fine. It's a magical thing called the internet. Shut the hell up. No, I can't. So how are you guys? Good. Just good. Keeping safe? No. No? What dangerous thing are you up to? I got Oh, you know. Well, except for the next week. Drug cartels. The usual. Yeah, that's my thing. Fought the mafia yet? Mm, or is that still next week? Okay. They could show up any moment. No. Okay. No, okay, so not that far. Food, 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 food. Food, 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 but we know which direction. Yes, near the elevator. Near, like, the front where the... Like, near the exit the of the elevator. school. Oh, the exit of the school? Yeah, or, like, the entrance. Can I just go there? Yeah, sure. Flynn, go fly. He doesn't have, have magic. Yeah, he doesn't have that. No, which but you direction? know which direction. Hmm? Towards the front of school. The front of the school? Yeah. I fly. All right. And we can walk together mm-hmm. with Sarah. He won't be weird at all. Evangeline is with him, by the way. Ooh. And Evangeline. So this is what you guys do all the time? Yeah. yeah. It's exciting. It is. Also a, a little nerve-wracking. Yeah, I mean, if you want to be safe, you probably shouldn't be with us. Because... Yeah, but... Once you learn... You know, how to defend yourself, then you have good teammates. I mean, I'm, I, I'm, a, I'm not... I assume you are... A, a good magic caster. It's just this is probably a lot more intense than you're probably used to. Oh, definitely. <laughs> I uh, only learned my magics to teach children about how to perform magics. And the history, it's also fascinating. Like, did you know We're there was an evil over. wizard by the name of Sigalum? I'm sorry? I think I've sort heard of. of that. It's a little wishy-washy. Some people claimed he was an amazing ruler. Others claimed he was a tyrant. What? What's happening right now? Mm-hmm. I was going to say bullet. What's happening right now? Am I, am I being rickrolled? It's called a reference. Is this a rickroll? There was also one of a, fa- a folktale also by Mr. Rilla. A feigned... All right. Fucking what? Cobalt wizard. What's he doing? He's flying. He, d- You're just flying in the air. I'm flying to the front of the school. I think you should probably roll perception. Or the something. gates. The uh, Yeah, yeah. Roll, roll perception. Beep. Beep. <laughs> I rolled something. You hit something. You monk on arm strike. You punch the gate. Yes. Um, Flynn's like, I didn't mean to do that. Why'd I do that? 
He punched it. He goes, ha, ha, ha. This isn't punch time. This is brain time. <laughs> Just use your fucking fingers. No, I would have thought uh, more of us. A... Not gross. You didn't mean this other slice. I would have thought it was being like... Oh, what's, shit, your, crack, crack, what's your crack, bonus? I'll just roll for it. I can't see that. What's your perception bonus? I don't know. Okay, you, you know what? I, I also... Someone have... fucking pull it up! My God, God, Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, here. What's your wisdom bonus? Hmm? He can't see shit. He can't see anything. So, I said perception, right? Yes. All right. He's gonna... He's gonna what, do your, what do your dragon eyes see? So you notice that the gate, part of the gate, has been swung open and almost torn off its hinges. This thing looks like it is was. Is that because he punched it? No. no oh, okay. Before he punched it. I like no. my idea better. It's like, ah, oh, shit, cramp, cramp, cramp. I've done this before. Stupid gate. Tell me answers. Oh, you're open. Ooh, answers. He perceives through his fists. A little bit farther off through the path, you see a bit of smolder, like, burnt grass on the ground indicating that, uh, this thing used a teleport again after that. I go up to smell it so I can figure out where it teleported to. You, you can't, you track smell it, ash. Track it like a fucking bloodhound. Yep, this ash is made of ash. Well, I am... This uh, I'm a fire ancestry crash. dragonborn. I feel like I should know more about fire. It burns. That's and. It. Anyway. Fire hot. Not for me. Roll it. Roll an arcana check. So you three make it out. Yeah. And of course you see fire hot. Finally get a frickin' nat 20. And you go up to the... Jesus. You go up to the the area where she seemed to have disappeared, and she it looks like she reappears again farther away. It's kind of like she's jumping, mm. but it, uh, in a hurry. Jameson nods to himself, wasting her spell slots, and just keeps walking. <laughs> She's all she she does his weird jump sequence all the way to the elevator. Alright. To the rest of the tree. Is what's your face still following us? Yes. Evangeline? Hmm. Up to this point where you get to the front of the elevator. Here, stand in front of my hand behind uh Jacobson. Okay. Uh I like to imagine. Jameson didn't hit, get hit during that fight, but, like, imagine that, like, one of the, the demons, like, clawed off part of his armor. So, Winter's, uh, like, yeah, just stay behind uh, Jameson. It's most it's the most safe right there. And then she, like, gets behind him and then looks down, looks up, and her face just goes red. And then there's a shot of just all of Jameson's armor is intact except for his ass for some reason. And he's just, like... Tighten it like super tight, like that cop from uh, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, these are medium. I don't want them. You chose medium sauce. Yeah. I hate all three sauces. The spicy sauces. Yeah, I don't like that shit. That shit burns my eyes. You don't care. It's fine. I don't know, spicy person either. Y'all suck. Alright, so you're at the fr- you're in front of the elevator. What are you going to do? I look at the elevator, and I clench my butt cheeks. Um, do Does it have, like, an indicator on what floor it's on? Like a normal elevator? Yeah, it's on one of the upper branches of the tree. Alright, I remember that, and I push the button to go up. As soon as you do, you're met with two guards. You go to the higher levels of the tree. Okay. And they start to be like, uh, excuse me, are you lost or do you have a pass to enter? Do we have a pass? Did we have a pass? No, not for this area. Where am I? You're with them. Yeah, I was with them. I returned to them. I don't remember yeah. this part. We all kind of met up. Yeah. Um, 
Did we tell them that, it's a de- that we're chasing the demon that just went up? I look at the rest of them. I, l- I don't have any fucking teleporting skills, do I? Is there a roof above us? Can I just fly up? Yeah, I think he can just fly. Wait, what? Is there a roof above us? No, it's like, like a. So it's big... open. So mm-hmm. just yeah. Keep flying up. All right. Is the elevator still moving, or because the guards are on there? They no, it stopped on one of the higher floors. We have to wait for this inspection. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, I think what matters at hand is more important than the stump inspection. I proceed to fly up. Hey, stop them! And you see them all training arrows. Good luck, my. All right. While they're distracted, can I? Uh... How many guards are there? Two? There's like from two from the gate. Farther on, you see a lot more. Alright, I'm gonna push. Uh, I'm gonna, um... We're chasing a demon. Hold on, hold on. As, soon as, as soon as they distract him, I'm gonna cast command. on one of the guards standing next to us, and I point to the other guard and say, interfere. So he needs to make a wisdom save. Uh, okay, let me, let me, does one of them look dumber than the other? No. Okay. I'll We're just, younger? Yeah, whoever, whichever one looks younger, I guess. All right, so what other rule? A wisdom save. That fails. So I command him to interfere, and I point at the other guard. He tackles the other guard. All right, every the in the elevator. <laughs> Thanks, Flynn. So, uh, yes, you appear to have ran into a military camp. Oh, oh, is that what we find at the uh, the top at the War- the branch that you the elevator stop you guys are currently on was in front of a military camp. And that's not the area we need to go to. No. Okay. Where do we go from here? I, I'm still flying up. I didn't I'm still go flying on the elevator. Just letting you know. I'm going to head to a guard and tell them who got on, what's going on. Who got on the elevator with me? Evangeline. Yeah. All of you guys and Evangeline. Sarah and Evangeline. But not Winter. But not me. Okay. Party is I went to... All right. I went to a guard. Imagine Winter fucking I, helps the other guard up. Just like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. Oh my god, fucking idiots. And I explained to him what happened. He well, He's holding up a weapon to you, by the way, because one of your friends is up in the end, the other one kind of is running into the camp. I mean, I would go for the branches where I know the Cambion's at, so... It's... So you still have detect magic on, right? Yeah. Doesn't look like it's been the this cambi has been on the upper branches. So they fucking made a mistake. They fucking tricked us with the elevator. All right, I go back down. Uh, you're being halted by a lot of guards. Well, as soon as I open the door and I don't detect the cambion, but you did order a guard to attack another guard and then run. They don't know that. They can't prove that. They hear struggle. <laughs> There's also him flying through the air. All right, all right. So I'm let, let, me, let, me straight, just, let me just like straight upward. Let me just go through the the events real quick. I used command on one. I like whispered to him just just to interfere. He does so. I get in the elevator and I go. No, 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 no. You you exit the elevator. You were in the elevator when the guards came in to talk to you. Why? Because you were going up on the higher branches of the tree. Then how did he get attacked if we were in the elevator? I have not. Mm-hmm. I, I just flew straight up. He, he flew straight up. Okay, that's what I'm asking. Because I wouldn't have done that if if we... What it sounded like... Yeah, just, like, I'm just really confused because, like, are Nick, we in the elevator Nick, or not? What it sounded like is that we went to the elevator, we pressed the button, and then once it opened, those guards came out and talked to us. Yeah, not that's that what we got happened. in. Oh, that's sorry, why it was talking. the other way around. My bad. So we got out of the elevator, and then the guards were there? Yeah. Okay, then I wouldn't have done any of that, then. Yeah. Okay, okay. Rewind. Do you still plan on flying up like an idiot? I'm going straight towards the cabin. Yeah, he... he we was, got stopped. The guards, are, assu- the guards are like, we, both we, a- need your per- we need your permit. And we like, all assumed that we were, on, were going to the upper floors, and we got stopped right outside the elevator. Mm-hmm, yeah. 
So, so rewind. rewind. We get to the elevator. What happens? You go up mm-hmm. to a higher floor. Okay. Elevator stops. Opens up. It's the same floor that the Cambion. No, no, it's not. No, it's not. The okay. guards stalked us because we need to give our permits. Yeah, okay. the guards go so into the elevator and ask you. Resume right there. I'm just like, all right, okay. We follow. We were trying to follow a Cambion. This isn't the floor that we need. I'm. I apologize. Cambion. Yes. Some sort of demon spawn. It's been attacking the school, and we need to hurry. School's under attack. Yes. Uh, Can I insight on him? Yeah, go ahead. He beat him. Does he look like worried or mad? He's fucking terrified. Terrified? Okay. Yeah. It seems he had no idea what's going on. Yeah. Good. Big dumb. Because I don't think any of us did either. Uh, go. Uh, d- d- don't don't worry. I won't say anything. Just please leave right now. I think you you could do better than that. You could have you could give us a permit. Mm-hmm. Just for like, te- like just come I'm with not, us. Come with just us. come with us. Yeah, I'm not high up in the, on the totem pole for that, and I'm not allowed to leave my post. You're a good man. All right. Um, do we go up? Yeah. Do we go up to the correct floor? Uh, you proceeds okay. to tell you uh, I wouldn't recommend going any higher up. You need much better clearance than there. Are a, there's then a lot take of take us to your dra- take us to. You know, you're... No, if I were to fly straight upward, what would they t- to do? They would Sorry. attempt to shoot you down. No, uh, that's a shame. Let's let's not try that yeah. for now, Flynn. So let's talk to your commander. All right, follow do me we, then. Do we think we're going to have enough time for this? We don't have a choice. Okay. All right. Very well. Or if anything, you stay by the elevator and... I mean, to be fair, uh, with my soldier background, I probably would be... Well, I guess that's not technically correct. Um, I guess as part of my background that's not technically my background, uh, I would be the best to talk to the general. Mm -hmm. Then come with us. All right. I don't care. I'll I'll show you to my commander. I I guess I have no idea what's going on. I thought I legitimately for- forgot that I took the far traveler background instead of soldier. So they bring you into the encampment, and he kind of tells you to stay put while he gets a commander. And you see, you know, P- it's it's late at night, by the way. Okay. And uh, obviously there are some there the, are some guards kind of just hanging around. The tech magic is here. is gone at this point. Um... I'll just keep an eye out. If anybody looks suspicious or like they're gonna fucking deck, uh, like jump us, I will. Uh, I'll, them, I'll, I'll, I'll just have my shield and my my warhammer at the ready. None of them are uh, look like they're about to attack you. They're getting ready to in case you try something. I holster all my weapons and make sure they're not in my hands. So the commanding officer comes up to you, and he is an orc, by the way. Okay. I I give him a salute, and uh, say good evening. Good evening to you. What's what is the situation? Go- what I heard demons running about in the school under attack. Yes. Uh, mm-hmm. We followed them up to this floor. They they appeared to have taken the elevator just now before us. They were going up to the higher floors. We're- we just need temporary permission to track it down and get rid of it. Are you sure it's going higher up and not down? DM? He asked you the question. No, I mean, I know, but, like, do we know? When we came to the elevator, when we looked at it, it was stopped at a higher level. We can... That's where we assume. Is there any way to check and see who got in the elevator? Uh, I suppose if you have detect magic. I ritual cast detect magic. So, there's hints of magic on two different buttons. One for the lower floors. No, one for the upper. And one for the higher floors. Oh, we're going to need to split up. We'll check the high ground. But, Which... I will tell you this. There is no trace of the magic on the higher floors. She wanted us to think we went up. Let's go down to the lower floors. I'm a... <sighs> do we take? Do any guards come with us now that they know that this shit's going down? He does give you two guards. Okay. 
It's simple. They're simple guards, though. Hello, red shirt and stormtrooper number 69. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. All right, let's go down the lower floors. Mm-hmm. Now that I've fucked us. Mm-hmm. So, what's like we're in the elevator. I just turned to Evangeline. I'm just like, I'm sorry. I'm usually so much more polite. I usually take take people out to dinner before I fuck them. She gets red at that. You didn't try that with me, though. Very fair. Doesn't sound like you tried with him, either. Very mm. fair. She kind of... Just like, I imagine there's just, like, a peaceful elevator music playing. Just, like, fucking uh, Minor Illusion or... I think that would be Minor Illusion. Just like mm-hmm. just like a permanent Minor Illusion cast on the inside of the elevator. Two guards are eyeing each other as they're hearing this because they're very uncomfortable with what's going on. How old do they look? You look in there. Roll inside? Inside? Alright. Like, do they seem new to this? Ten? You're not sure. Okay. That's, I'll roll that's, inside. That's fine. It doesn't matter. What did you get? Come on. I heard it roll. I don't see it. Oh, 13. Ah, uh, they yeah, sort of appear youngish. They sort of appear Yeah. Oh, boy. We got we got given the privates. Mm-hmm. So, what's your area so, on the lower floors you want to go to? So, there's Whatever the... button I saw that got pushed with the tech magic. So, I would like... Also, while we're going down, I would also like to discuss with the guards... You know, yeah. what can you do? You know, like well, magic. Well, we're good with spears. Good with spears? Like silver spears. No. Actually, that's a good point. Uh, you fired an arrow off. Was that a silver one? It didn't mm-hmm. seem to react much to it. Hmm, interesting. No, that was the shadow devil. Sorry. Mm-hmm. That was the shadow, shadow devil. Shadow demon, whatever mm-hmm. it was. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder if silver doesn't work as well as we thought it would. Maybe not, neither of you know any sort of magic. No, we, we know spear only. We're kind of new to this. Ah, spear monster. Well, stay close I to us. I kick him, and I tell him, yeah, and it would probably I, be best if they took up maybe... I actually things. have a spell that could help with you guys, with just one of you, but it's gonna... Um... So well, the, it's, not, it's not gonna it's not gonna be too bad of a detriment. I just can't use any concentration. I can't use any concentration spells while I'm, while it's active. So, the button you press, the one that the the cambia seemed to want to, is the what's it called? The agricultural district. Okay. And you see a trail leading far off through some of the street district, and you follow it. And then it seems to stop. Weirdly, it stops in front of a massive, like a giant, like a, a, a public library. Not the library. Hang on my eyes. So like right in front of the front door, or? Yeah. Knock on the door? Uh, before he does that, I would like to roll an investigation upon the ground. To see if there's any sort of... Because it says it just stops at the door. Yeah. I would like to take a quick glance at the ground. I guess that would be perception. And see if there's anything like... Any sort of weird circles or anything like that. Yeah, go ahead. You don't, but I will help you out. As you near the library of Angeline, she gets a little nervous. Oh no! Did they enter his library? Who's library? This, this library is owned by the father of one of the students at the school. Which, Young Alistair. And that was the kid we helped earlier. What kid? The tiefling. The no, boy. that's in character. No. Oh. Mm-hmm. What kid? The. You said Alistair. Yeah, Alistair. And it is the like the, the, the little tiefling boy that fell out of the tree. Tiefling. The tiefling boy that fell out of the tree. Okay, I remember that. Huh. Hmm. Okay, then uh, I open the door. Is it... It's locked. It's locked? 
Can I pick it? I raise up my warhammer. I was like, oh yeah, you can do that. Unless it, <laughs> I turn to the guard. Unless you guys got a key. Uh, sorry, we we don't have keys. Sorry. This isn't illegal. We had consent. Okay. Did you break down to the? Uh, no, wait, no, you didn't. <laughs> sorry. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so can I roll? Cool? You you try to you try to like insert the lock into it, but it kind of deflects backwards. Even it, with my what? Yeah. Like it's magically locked? Yeah, magically locked. Oh, well then that's good. Because I have dispelled magic. Okay. Alright. You want me to roll again? Scott? Oh, right. Um, Are you just going to take that 20? Yeah, I'll take that that 20. I'll give you that. So I just... All right, that burned through a third level spell slot. You flick of the wrist, boom! Instantly unlocks. Yep. All right. The guard's gonna hold up. I we don't. I don't feel really uh, comfortable breaking and entering. We're not breaking and entering. Yeah, oh, we're just you in, we're investigating. You should be used to that. Well. Yeah. Eventually, like, well, technically, they haven't broken anything yet. So they're just entering. Ergo, should be allowed. Court order. Court order. <laughs> How about this? It's be- It's better to ask for forgiveness than permission. They they <laughs> they like. How about this? You we have... will just so happen to look away, and you guys. And you guys win. don't have to fight them. Everybody wins, and I walk How inside. They. <laughs> How about you two stay by the door? That's what we were thinking, young lady. Eventually, why don't you stay with them? <laughs> Sure. All right. In case it's been ten minutes, I start detecting magic again. Roll uh, perception real quick. Okay. Everybody, yeah. everybody, or just me? Just you for shits and giggles. Damn. As the door closes, you hear so. Uh, guys, want to help me with my virginity? As the door closes. Who? What? Eventually says that. As the door closes. <laughs> You know, That's I'm such start, a I'm weird to thing to introduce. <laughs> just, uh, I'm starting like, to think she's maybe not a virgin. I like rub, rub my temples. Sarah, like, did, did I just hear that right? Oh, yeah. I rub my temples, uh, and I look around, like, what, what do I see? There is no magic in here, but it's been used recently. How recent? Some of the books have been moved out of place. You notice, and some of them were specifically for demon summoning. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna look around. I don't. I don't I'm sense. Also... I don't sense the the Cambians energy or whatever. No, the Cambians seem to have left. But it stopped in front of the library. Correct? Yeah. It. It had wings. It could have gone up. Yeah. But I didn't detect anything like that. No. Could have still teleported. Mm-hmm. I don't know what sort of... Uh, I'll say this in character. Um, I don't know what sort of teleportation it used before, but if it's like uh, the spell Dimension Door, you don't necessarily have to do something in range. You just have to visualize it. You don't, or What I mean is you don't have to necessarily be able to see where you're going if you can visualize it. I see. So... If they've been in here, then I guess we'll find out. Um, and I'm going to look around. Uh, I am also going to proceed and look around. I guess I'm not really being stealthy because armor, but... One of the books you find that's been kind of moved around is The Ancient Lords. Ancient Lords? I'll pocket that. For okay. Later. Ancient Lords book? Yeah. So what are you doing? <laughs> Looking around. Alright. Do I see anything else? No. Like, it's... do I see any sort of stairs or another doorway? No. It Besides that book, it seems like a normal library. Mm-hmm. But there's no, like, other back rooms or anything like that? No. I check the walls. See if there are any secret doors. 
No. No doors? No doors. It's just like a normal library? Yeah, just a normal library. Do I see anything out of place? Anything at all? Besides some of the books being used, mostly demon summoning in the book you picked up. Mm-hmm. I, th- I pick up through one of the books and I kind of thumb through it. All right, I'm going to open up the Ancient Lords. I'll keep uh, Detect Magic going, and I'll just, like, thumb through it. Do I see anything What's that? interesting? Just a book I found. So this this book is about some of the more... Some of the ancient demonic lords of hell who are now considered long dead. And one of them specifically catches your eye. Pronounced Dagon. Dagon. That sounds familiar. Why does that sound familiar? Do I need to roll history or Arcana? Ah, uh, no, no. It, it gives you a brief description of it. But the one thing it roll history real quick. Four. That scary shark. It's shark? the picture of it, it. It looks like a picture of a shark and an octopus. Son of a bitch! I know what this is. Out of character, I do. <sighs> All right. Let's keep it just in case. Yeah. I'll... You can maybe we can. Uh... If you want to, any one of you can roll history too. She already did. I got a four. She got a six. Mm-hmm. We can ask Evangeline. <laughs> She's a history teacher. I like pinch the bridge of my no- my nose, and I'll, I'll I'll all right. I'll head out. They're they're simply talking okay. now. Hey, Evangeline, and I'll like point to the picture of uh, Dagon. Do you know what this is? Is that I assume there's a picture? Yeah, Dagon, Lord of the Depths. But why? He's been dead, and buried. I'm assuming that might be one of the demon lords they're trying to summon. That's... Rebirth. That... Oh, no. So... Not many people know this. But beneath our feet, beneath this very tree, is Dagon. He died... Do a coalition of all of the known races. But his death brought brought forth this tree. And we didn't think it does, important. Does his body exist still? It's it's all all intents purposes, it's considered deceased. But is his body still there? Underneath the roots, yes. I think that may be where we need to go. Mm-hmm. All right. Thank you, eventually. Uh, yeah, what's... What's going on? Well, I, uh, there was definitely evidence in there. I mean, it looked dusty, right? Like, it's a, it was, like, a, like, not... The book looked recently used. The book, at least. But, like, I meant, like, everything yeah. else... Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll pretty much explain to her that, like, out of everything, this is one of the books that was un- that was disturbed. And I, I guess we'll start heading back towards the elevator. All right, so... we need to go down to towards the roots. Back, where, have- back where we started, guys. <laughs> Just want to point that out. Mm-hmm. So as you're going there, Sir mentions, Hey, so you guys say you accept this from a cleric in the sewers? Oh, son of a bitch. I think it might be a good idea to let him know what's going on. Yep, that's what we're going I to. Mean, we, we are going that way, I guess. Alright, uh, we'll take a small break. I just want to get some pizza. Who said you could have another slice? Me. Bitch. Yeah, I gave you your first slice. Mm. Mm. <gasps> How dare you touch me? Mario. Is my Marlo? Mario. But not Luigi. I just... Uh... Oh, you can have some if you want. What is it? It's banana bread. Yeah. Anything you want? Some of my delicious banana bread? No, no, no. It's like a couple days old. Mm-hmm. You can have it if you want. I can't eat banana. You know why. 
because you're a pussy? Yeah, no. you're a pussy. No. I know why, and it's because he's a pussy. Can't say banana the same way again. Why? What happened? Because he thinks he, he gets an erection. No. Yes, he does. That's... His excuse is he can't eat bananas because a teacher ate one in front of him and he thought it was super sexy. So now he fucking gets an erection every time he thinks of bananas. Bananas, 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 bananas. Stop bananas. it. But like, you were there too. And then uh-huh. we, and I don't get, I, I don't pop a bone every time I see a banana. I just, I can't think about that. About the way, how much you the took more... in. The more you think about it, the more it's going to fucking associate in your mind. Mm-hmm. Excuse me. Now you messed up. Why take a proficiency with medicine? I never use medicine. Mm-hmm. I'm just looking... Because most classes only get proficiency in four stats. Two from their background and two from their class. And I'm just like... Of those four skills, one of the ones that I took is medicine. I'm just like, nobody fucking uses medicine in this campaign. Why? <laughs> All of the things I took proficiency with are with my already good wisdom, except for persuasion. I should have taken at least one skill that uses intelligence. Excuse me? No excuses. I don't know. Alright. Which sucks because I I know what I'm gonna do with my next feed. So I'd have to wait until level twelve till I get either increase in intelligence or uh the skilled feat, which gives me three proficiencies and something more. I guess I could take a level in rogue just for one more proficiency. But that's stupid, right? R- right? Fucking rogue wearing full plate armor. I'm sneaky, guys. Chong, 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 chong. My clink. Well, I mean, you could be a rogue that just has everything in perception, uh, persuasion to say you do not see anything. Like what's his face did in your campaign? Who's the rogue that in your campaign that was a huge joke? Oh yeah, uh, fucking. What's his name? The Red Dragonborn. Uh, she no hunter. She hunto. She hunto. She she no, she ni hunto. That's right. I haven't had. He hasn't been in the campaign for a long time. You see nothing. You see nothing. The fucking rogue with minus two in his dexterity. So. As you get, as you go more, as you get closer to the roots, you feel a sense of dread. And you're doing a little jig. Apparently. He senses dread all the time. He's used to it. You look at my face and it just like uh, fucking does the Spongebob realistic face. I'm always full of dread. I thought you were going to say like, that you have such feels, Everybody feels saying, like, this is fine. <laughs> Alright, so as... What in the hell? Oh. This. This is just like... Just like... Don't you feel dread? And just like Jameson points to his face. Does this look like the face of dread? <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> you should put that as the... As the... I should! <laughs> Just like without any context. <laughs> Alright. All right. Oh, let me see. You get down to the roots. A lot more of the roots are right now. And there are even, including some druids, who are panicking. It's like been three days, right? Since mm-hmm. we... Oh my god. Well, stuff I say ignore now. everyone and head on towards the back where what's Yeah, the we'll either find the cleric or if it comes up, I'll we'll follow the campion if we sense their energy. Yeah, let's let's go to the cleric. Mm-hmm. So you navigate through the sewers, you meet the bone daddy. 
Hey, tree's dying. Dagon's coming back. Who the fuck is Oh shit, Dagon! I mean, oh, oh. Dagon? Yeah, he's a bitch. Yeah, we'll see how much of that, how much you think of that once you're dead. For, like, good this time. I doubt it. I think I can take him on. No, I'm just a skeleton on a stick. Can I, I'm pick, Cerebriot. can I pick up the stick? And I, like, run. His zombie's it. holding it. I take the stick from the zombie and I head towards the the clerk's house. No, oh, no, 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 don't mind, I guess. You know, apparently I'm just on for the fucking ride. The zombies are fucking slow. Let's go. The clerk's kind of just, you know, just relaxing and whatnot. He wa he sees a, oh, hey, guys, what's going on? Hey. Uh, They're Dagon. trying to raid Dagon. Yeah. Dagon. Dagon. Fuck. I mean, Dagon? Yes. Why did you have the same reaction as him? Yeah, do you guys know something? Uh, we know this is a little bit big, big trouble. All right. Do you know... Uh... Okay, okay, okay. The, there's a bit of a bit of a problem. Uh, I do know the, the, the story, Dagon's directly underneath the tree. Uh, the problem is, we don't exactly have a way to get down there. Tell your zombie to start digging. What's this nice seeing like? We're in the sewers. There's no dirt around what's surrounding us. Wait. Concrete and metal. What? Oh, the map changed. Oh, I'm... yeah, I was trying to do something. <laughs> oh, here, what? Hold on. I see a Astrocity. Astrocity. <laughs> You're home. And winter so winter's in her normal outfit. We're we are we are time traveling now. We're at that point in the adventure. There's a fucking Nargakuga. So, my best would be, you probably should get ready. We're going to have to deal with this probably in the morning. Oh. So there's nothing to do until then? No, nothing to do at all. I will notify the, I will notify the higher-ups, tell them what's going on. They'll most likely get a party ready to start digging underground... Until then, uh, there's nothing we can really do right now. We need to ev evacuate or anything? Mm hmm That too. Though, well, we have these two guards right here. Yeah. They didn't go with you. They didn't go with us? No. They didn't go in the sewers? They were pussies? Yeah. All right. All right, yeah. I want that to be on their review. All right. I was like, would you like to, would you like to give us a bit of a review of, of her performance? Was a big old pussy. I'll do. I'll do a four star. <laughs> no reason. Four out tried, of ten. Or tried four to five. bang a school teacher. Shake my head. An elementary school teacher too. Elementary school. Nice. It's a teacher who cares. Nice. Anytime you involve children, <laughs> it makes it even more. Whoa! Weird. Whoa! Whoa! whoa. Now! Now! Now, now, let's move on. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah, this is, yeah, I, I'll notify him. It's best you guys return to the school for now. Okay. And you just fucking see it, it, Jameson just one frame just disappears. <laughs> No, you don't even move. Like, I just away. Like, think, like, it's just the, the show or whatever changes art styles entirely it's like fucking MS Paint and just <laughs> and then you get a shot of Jameson's room he shows up and then the next frame just and it's just in the bed just face down <laughs> I wish I could do that I'm tired of traveling I can't wait till I get to Dimension Door did you actually do that? Hmm? Did you actually do that? No. I don't think Dimension Door is that good. It's only 500 feet. As you get to the school, however, you see a bunch of teachers and children running around panicking. Oh, shit. Weren't they supposed to be evacuating? No, you guys kind of just left. No, we told the t principal to evacuate. Oh, yeah, that's that. That's why. They're outside panicking. 
Some of the children are crying. Some of them are freaking out. Others are trying to calm some of the other children down. Some of the teachers are also the same. Now, now, children. Now is not the time to panic. Now is time to do your. They cry even the louder when they see you. <laughs> now is time to to practice your fish Now that they what they crowd around us. They cry even louder when they see him. Oh, they cry. Yeah, even louder. Because well, I'm your I'm, favorite teacher. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, you so, just see Richter run up to you guys. Where the hell have you all been? We had to follow the thing, and it went all the way into the sewers. I explained it. Everything. God, man, that's not good. Uh, fuck! He screams something out in Infernal. Four children have just gone missing! Oh, fuck off. I was out of character. Don't know what to do now. When was where was the last time they were seen? They were seen in the rooms. Where are their rooms? Is Evangeline with You're us? Watching yes. Children in their rooms. She she's kind of panicking Wait. too. Where's Alistair? He's one of the missing children. Oh fuck! I think. I may know who did this. Who's behind this? Who? Either Alistair or his father. Alistair? That's not possible. Alistair's a good child. We found a library run by his father. It looked abandoned, but there were a bunch of books. I pull out the ancient uh, Lord's book. There was also a bunch of the long demon summoning. Yeah, these are the only. Those were the only the only books disturbed in that library. Can't be his father. He's not in town, and I wouldn't even didn't even think a young an innocent tiefling boy like that would be capable of something like this. It's possible there's someone else also we, with We it. can't rule out any possibilities, and this is the most likely one, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. There's also a possibility that there's someone else pulling the strings as well. Someone who took the child in. Not. Sir, I didn't. In. Sir, I didn't. Why don't we go check his room? Mm-hmm. Yeah, That's what I was going to say. For now, say. let's go check his room. Alright, so... Do you cast Detect Magic? Oh, yeah. There is an ungodly amount of pa- magic power coming from his room. Hmm. An ungodly amount. And we never passed his room while investigating in the school. No, his is in a completely different area of the school. Oof. You checked mostly classrooms. That's fair. Mm-hmm. This was nowhere near where the where the children's rooms are. All right. Um, I open the door. There are a bunch of summoning rituals all around the room. Son of a bitch. Do I have? Is there anything like? Is the principal with us? No. Okay. I would have dragged him with me. All right. Is there anything like active, or are they all inactive? They're all inactive, but okay. Some of them have been recently used. I will. I will definitely take my knife and carve through them so they are disconnected. I will too. Yeah, All right. Just, just to get rid of them. And I will tell Sarah to do the same thing. Mm-hmm. Okay then. Well, she only has an axe with her instead of a knife, so she kind of just yeah. cuts a clean cut Any, through them. Anything, just so they can't be used. The principal's in shock right now. Head in his hand. You had no idea of knowing. He was innocent. He was a good kid. We still, what are you talking about? we still don't know if he's the one behind this. We don't know if he has control of his actions. Or he could have been fooling you this entire time. What can you tell me about his father? His father was a bitter man. Believing that tieflings should have more respect than what they are than what they're given. Angry all the time. Do you know anything about his mother? I looked. I look at Richter. Is Richter with us? Mm, yeah, he's like outside. All right. Mother died very young. I just there's he he's still he's he he is like he's not there completely right Which now. Which one? The principal. Mm-hmm. Hmm. 
We're going to... We already have the guards coming down. They might bring a militia. We're going to dig down to the body of the old god. Until tomorrow. But that'll have to be tomorrow. Until then... For now, we should sleep. Not only that, we should get the children... Evacuate. Mm -hmm. Yes. Not only uh, the school, but we should probably see about evacuating the sewers. The best we can do. You know, you know well that the only thing in the sewers are zombies. Hmm? I mean, I thought no. there was there like a whole town down there. Yeah, no, there. no, no. There's an old town like on the roots, not in the sewers. Oh, right, right. right. Well, the roots, whatever yeah. the fuck we yeah. were talking, yeah. wherever the fuck we were, they were. Yeah, sorry. I thought it was all connected. Yeah, that all will need to be. Uh, but th- I don't feel like we'll we'll have any power there. I, mm-hmm. I think that's just got to be the the military. Mm-hmm. But for now, we need to really evacuate the school. We Where should you... we take them to? I pull out the Skither's chalk. We have a place where they can stay for like a night. If nobody's going to be happy about it, and it's going to be uncomfortable, and we'll probably need the kids to sleep on the deck. Just like a giant sleepover. <gasps> sleepover? Not for you. Mm-hmm. I guess we should go right. I yeah, well. I no, I open Skither's door just like on a, I'll just go draw the chalk on on the wall. Can I help you? Uh hey, we're going to need uh how many kids go to the school again? About 20, 25 kids. At the moment there's much more. Most of them have been taken by their parents though. Yeah, 25 oh, left. 25 left? Holy shit. Yeah, okay, that's much better than what I thought. He thought there was going to be like hundreds. Okay, yeah. Anybody, any, all of the kids and... Teachers. All the innocent teachers that aren't going to be able to fight. There's about 15 teachers. Okay, yeah. I'll, I'll just I'll just tell together. Yeah, we're going to need like 40 people to stay on the ship for like a night. That's not my problem. I can take it to them, but it's going to cost you two gold I've, per child. I've, two gold per child? Skither. I'm just kidding. 200 gold. Skither. Roll persuasion. How about I roll persuasion? Mm. I have proficiency in it. So do I. Oh, okay. Here you go. Can I assist? No. I think it's fine. Go ahead. Go ahead, Winter. Prove me wrong. He's like, Skither, 250. Skither. <laughs> All right. Why do you have a bigger bonus than me? All right, I'm just kidding. 10 gold will be fine. Narrow my eyes. All right. Okay, but it comes out of Andrew's pay. <laughs> You're from the gate. Uh, what? No, it comes out. All right. No. I, I'm guessing we'll probably... Shuff, shuttle all the, the students and teachers into that yeah. portal. So, uh, um, who do gives we, them the time? Okay, I have a question. Do we know if there are any other, like, paladins or clerics in our on our crew? No. No? no not. Okay. No, but no magic users. No. Do I... Uh, sorcerers? No. Okay. Is there anyone that wants to come? Hmm... Okay. Nobody wants to fight a god, a demon god. <laughs> you don't know if it's completely been revived yet. Yeah, we don't. We don't know. Well, you know, is you're fighting a Cambion. Yeah, for sure the Cambion. All right. No, I but I would have asked... thought that would have uh, intrigued at least someone. Oh yeah, anybody that does radiant damage probably would be beneficial to our cause. But if not, that's no big deal. What does Skithers count as? I don't know. Can I ask him? Just like as we're shuttling the kids through the portal. Just like, what do you do exactly? What what sort of magic? Where does your magic come from? I hold the secrets. I'd, I'd rather not tell them. Insight? <laughs> Go ahead. 23? He has secrets and he refuses to tell you. Is he a god? You don't know. <laughs> I don't like that answer. For all you know, he's a be- he's just a really good snake. Because right. his teleportation seems almost too useful, you know. But it's all I I could chalk that up to the, well, 
Shock. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Skithers. No, no, no. He holds up the bag of gold. Thank you. He closed the gate. He's going to be so mad when I reali- when he realizes I replaced that gold with bottle caps. Yep. Pokes his head out and grabs your money bag, your gold bag, and he yunk. Did you add me or are you just joking? No, I did not. Okay, okay. You Wait. think I'm good at fucking sleight of hand? That's why we're we need, walking away. That's I'm why like... we need Nolan in this party, because I don't think any of us are... Fucking look at that. You think he's going to be pissed when he realizes I just put a bunch of dirt in there? Roll side of hand. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Okay. He's gonna he throws he opens the gate and yeah. throws the dirt at you. Can I can I steal some of the coins? No. I got no. a twenty three. You no. too late, the gate's closed. You slip through you slip your hand through time and space and fucking pull your gold out of the ether. But this gold is alive and wriggling like a spider. Ew. Put it back. All <laughs> pieces. <laughs> It yes. dies and disintegrates in your pocket. Oh. No. Spider gold dust. Nathan writes is in his interest in, in his inventory. Ironically, that's also a name of a drug in this campaign. Oh God! Yes. Spider, yes. spider gold dust. I smoke it. <laughs> How? All right. I am, now high if on we the have, fifth on the fifth dimension. If we have nothing oh. else to do, I will actually want to sell go to that sleep. later. All right. Is, is I already okay? smoked it. Too late. I want to go to sleep, guys. Yes, Let but you end. are sleeping very uncomfortably because there's like seven or eight children in your room. Oh, I didn't say I was sleeping in the... Um, who let children Where into I... my room? Yeah. The, the room that has Salmon's corpses in... <laughs> that yeah, I, didn't, screaming. I, didn't say, I didn't say I was sleeping on the ship. I said we're not on the ship. We're, wanted, we're still in the school. I wanted school. to stay in the school and sleep there. Oh. We want to stay close. Yeah. Okay. So right in the morning. I mean, he can go... And like, yeah, you can go children. fucking sleep with the children. And just do it. And give them more do fishermancy. It. Fishermancy. As you're high off of a spider gold. <laughs> he's not even here. You can only hear him. You don't know where he's at. Huh? He is high. He fucking ascended <laughs> into the fifth dimension. You can hear colors and taste words. Mmm. Tastes like wisdom. Me. Does he gain anything from this? <laughs> he should gain one hell of a trip. He gains one extra addition. He gains point like of weird wisdom. knowledge For like a that's day. like not gonna be relevant until like the very end of the campaign. Once we're like fighting everything, it's like, oh wait, we figured this out. He knows how to craft a gun. <laughs> there we go. For his future special, Flynn wields a gun. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna spend this time on the shift just crafting a gun as I'm super high off the <laughs> Flynn spot. takes a level in artificer. He right. takes a level in gun. Good. Just gun. That's it. He doesn't know how to use it. Yeah. He just knows how to make it. Well, I- I'm saying I made a gun. You made a gun. You made a gun, but he has no idea how to use it. Doesn't even know how to craft bullets. Oh yeah, it doesn't have any bullets. Yeah. Ooh, fizz. What type of gun? Just like a handgun. Like no, no, he, he built a, a musket. Gun. No, no, right. no, no. He, can, we, can we please move he on? He built a combat shotgun. Can we please move on? Okay. Actually, uh... Sweet. Handgun to my inventory. I'm gonna have to call it early for tonight. I need to build a much... More. Yeah. Harder enemy. Yes. With more health. Yes. Than 34. Yes. Because that's what I do. That's what I do. Well, I, I guess ruin, while ruin we're, uh... You, know, you are stalling. Around. I always stall. That's my entire thing going on through this campaign. You are stalling. Well, um, as we're, since you're on the ship. Wait, are you on the ship or did you decide to stay with them? I don't know. I smoked some uh, t- golden dust. No, he's not even there right now. He's he's in a different dimension. You can still hear him. Every, every You're still the, stalling. Everyone in the world can hear him. <laughs> I'm going to Right, now's Start your chance. Talk to, to talk to Sa- uh, Salwin. Can can I hear them? Can I hear everyone in the world? No. I'm kidding. You don't actually do that, by the way. Okay. Can I take uh, a moment? No, I smoke some golden spider dust, and I'm super high, <laughs> tripping balls. We have the right now. we we got the sending stones from the principal, right? Yeah, he did give you them before you went back. Okay. 
how do they work? Do they have charges or? It's no. There's, there's like infinite charges. Hold up to your like cell phone. Okay. I'm gonna call uh, my wife. It no, no. It only works with other sending sounds. So I'll use my last third level spell slot to cast sending to talk to my wife before bed. <laughs> Who's all still with us? It's going to be you two and Sarah. He's back on the ship. Apparently. Mm-hmm. Um, any of the teachers? Any of the teachers stay? No, none of the teachers stay. Evangeline you... does give you two good luck. Wish you two good luck. Okay. No, oh, I was going to spend some time talking to her. Oh, teacher. Uh, out of character, Scott. Um, where are we going after we get done with Terrace? Do we have a plan? You can either go to Aquarius or Saharas. Okay. Or return to Palisades. There is a, a tournament you still need to do. No, we don't. You do? No, we don't. For the sake of Elf's sister, yeah. Yeah, I guess there's that. But you did she, we don't. she stand with us or Okay, wait, wait. Okay. Or did we have sending uh, stones hold, that we're hold, talking to each hold other? On. No no no. So, okay, once more out of character. Um what do we need the potato and the gemstones for? That's just so Hector's family doesn't get pissy with us, right? It's also a way to going through the gate like going through the dead kingdom. And that's gonna be the ultimate goal. Yes. Because yes. Sun Suna or something like that. Luna Suna. Suna told you to do that. In the Sun Suna cultist. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Told you you have to gather them and then the sun god will meet you. We might want to go to Saharis then next. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Palisades is. For better or worse, not a priority. We need to go to either Aquarius, which we have no method of doing anything with, or Saharis, which is just a desert country, which is much more manageable. I feel like Saharis would be the next place to go. Well, anyhow. I don't know. I'm just. Up to you guys. I'm, I'm asking that because, like, I may have. Okay. Uh, I'm going to finish my sending. Message. And what were you asking, Kristen? Um, just to talk with like either Evangeline or one of the teachers, okay, yeah. or any of the teachers that like stay. Okay, yeah, you can Anyone? choose to talk to Evangeline or Richter, the Tiefling. I'll talk to the one that'll probably talk to me back. All right. Then. What do I want to fucking ask my wife? <laughs> So you're currently... She's taking up Andrew's bedroom. Hmm? Evangeline? Yeah, Evangeline and I think another teacher. Yeah, two teachers. Evangeline and another one have taken up uh, Andrew's bedroom. She's probably in heaven. Oh, yeah. No, pro- she don't want to do it with a teacher. So this is your guys' ship? Mm-hmm. This is amazing. And the... You were telling me, man. Tavern... Mm-hmm. It doubled. That's that's incredible. Where I take it, we're talking on sending stone or something. Like no, you're that. you're currently on the ship. I'm on yeah. the ship. We're all yeah. on the ship. Yeah, we're all, everybody's on the ship. I guess. Okay. Yeah. This is before you uh, decide to sleep in the school. We're getting everyone settled in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. What was the question again? I'm sorry. No, she just asked you that, like if it was your ship yeah. and whatnot. Yeah, she she's amazed yeah, by the ship. The, yeah, this is a ship we use to travel. Our captain, Andrew, is where we're currently in right now. Where is Andrew? He's on deck trying to get some of the kids to calm down. And making sure they all try to disturb his dinosaur downstairs. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Um, yeah, would you like to look around? Uh, certainly. Uh, this is piques my curiosity. So you give her a tour of the ship, and you decide to show her. I don't slab. show her. Do I show her? Do you, it's up I, to you. Do you want to show her slab? 
Uh, only if Slab makes a noise and she wants to. She says it's up to you. Slab is awake. I'm saying, like, if, I don't even mention Slab. Oh. So, I mean, if Slab makes a noise and she goes, what is that? I, go, I don't know if you want to... That's the... That's mm-hmm. the Andrew's dinosaur. Did, did, did you just say dinosaur? Mm-hmm. Show me. It's like okay. Squid's Rising is show me. Okay. So uh, be careful, he is a a monster. <laughs> I, I forget this since it's been so long since I played a uh, Octavio. It's also um, kind of explodey. His saliva explodes. <laughs> I'm not kidding. His saliva explodes. Yeah, his saliva is extremely explosive. Yeah, it just looks like. Uh, I think we use that is he? Uh, is he like? I'm just gonna put like a big dog. I think he's a little dog. He's a giant. He's no. He's, I mean, like, is he, does he want to cuddle? Does he want to play? Or anything yeah, like that? yeah. He's he's like very uh active. Yeah, active. Mm-hmm. Okay, he's very energetic, and but be careful. His uh, saliva explodes. You have my interest. <laughs> And I let her in, and I let her see Slab. My word, this is amazing, she says as she sees, uh, Andrew's currently trying to get children to get off, like, they're trying to ride Slab. I thought they were all up on deck. Maybe Some slab. of them managed to get on below oh. deck. Oh, hey, Andrew. Slab, These children are crawling through the ward work! Get off of them! Okay, do you think you can do anything? Uh, she... She does. She like she she yells at him to get off. She's much more so for the much time you know. She seems like a little bit of like nervous, timid, timid. Yeah, but she's very strict and a little scary to these children, mm-hmm. and they immediately pay attention to her. Wow, you've got them pretty trained. Yeah, one second. All I can think of to say. What's Flynn doing? He's tripping balls. I'm tripping balls, man. <sighs> Son of a bitch. If boy. only I was a, if only I was four levels higher or three levels higher, then I would cast planar binding, and then he can't leave. What happens if you cast planar binding on something and then banishment? I don't know. We'll have to find out. I won't find out for another three levels. Uh, this is part of your research. That's the question. You I'm, just like, I'm just like... Uh... Yes, you fucked a goddess. Love you too. What? Fucked a goddess? Skatha? He fucked Skeda, a goddess. Skatha, you Roll history. Dog. Roll history. Can I cast guidance on myself before I do that? Or is this like immediate? What do you mean? Well, guidance is a cantrip. That gives me a D4 that I can add to ability check. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Okay. All right. Does that pass? You remember in your past one... 19. She did say that he's a father. What the fuck has Skatha been doing? I'm so interested to see what <laughs> what he's up to. <laughs> If I do decide to bring him back, you're in for one hell of a ride. <laughs> All right, back with Evangeline. Okay. Well, uh, Andrew, do you want to tell the children more about? Uh, yeah. So you know, he considering one of the more dangerous monsters on my island is uh, saliva can explode things. So that's why I've been trying to get you brats off of him. Okay. That's why I was trying to get you children off of him to protect you. And also, I don't know how what he considers to be playful. <laughs> and then he gives Andrew a long, like, a lick. Like a dog. And now he's coated in blast blight. Ugh. Ew. Shit, hang on. I mean, uh, darn. Hang on, I'm going to have to wash my clothes before I explode. And he leaves. Children are laughing, by the way. Mm-hmm. All right, children. You seem to have 
Uh, seeing all there is, it's actually well past your bedtime, so why don't we head back up and go gather around and... You hear, everyone hears the words supper. And have supper. In your mind. In our minds? Yes. What the fuck? How'd I do it? It is time for supper. Oddly, it has a French accent. Oh, is that one of our crewmates? Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's our crewmate. I thought so. Let's all go. Let's all eat. So, when you go up top, you see the children sitting on the tables. And then you see the the door open and a mind flayer walks in with an apron of chef's hat and a lot of his tentacles holding, like, large plates of food. Yeah, and I've seen it before. Yeah. Some of the children are scared. Some are intrigued. Some, some are intrigued. All of the teachers are scared. All right. We have some very interesting characters on our crew. He holds up a ten- tendril. Sorry about that. I forgot you cannot understand my accent. I don't like that noise. Now eat! <laughs> of course, everyone ta- uh, everyone's eating and they're all enjoying the food. It is beautiful. You ha- This is your first... No, no, you've eaten this food no, before. We've, we've all eaten. Yeah, you all cream your pants, by the way. What? You're still tripping balls. Oh, yeah, you're uh, not even there. I'm flying off the side of the deck, just kind of... No, no, you're on the water. You're like kind of just floating on the water. I'm on I'm on the water. I thought you were on another plane. plane like, no, you didn't have to get stoned. That's a joke. Dude, this water, man. It's like so wet for real, man. Fuck. <laughs> High five. No, wait, no, wait. All right, so... The children are, after after eating the amazing meal, all the children are finally starting to go to sleep. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, you do get, I like, do. like your... What are you wearing? Like, dress, pants? What are you wearing? Huh? You. Winter. Armor. You get a little tug from your armor, and you see a little, uh... You see a little black girl with, uh... Some of her hair what? is starting to look like twigs. Like tree roots. Mm, okay. Gross. From yes, uh, what? Hmm? It's like you're going to find them, right? Yes, we're going to find them. And you're going to help the tree, right? What race is she? Mm-hmm. The tree is very sick. No, we're gonna make it feel. All, we're gonna try and make it feel all better now. Okay, I I trust you. What's your name? And it is Abigail. I'm a druid. Really? Yeah. That's really nice. Well, Abigail, I think it's time to go off to bed. It's really late. Okay. Okay. That's my question. She's a druid. That's not a race. That's a class. Asimar. Oh, no. Human druid. There we go. Alright, so you guys decide to return to the school and you go to sleep. Waiting the next morning, and that's where we're gonna stop it. Alright, I'm, I, I rearranged my spells, so. Okay. Like I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be taking at least a week or two off to get this ready the next yeah, yeah. part. So, ready. Yeah, so, no problem. So, I, I have a question. What? D- did I advance my relationship? <laughs> You're trying to nail, aren't you? Uh-huh. By the way, you all leveled up. <gasps> yes! <laughs> Level four! Finally, level one. Level four, spell slots! I've been meaning to do that for like three sessions now, and I keep forgetting. Oh, thank God. Kristen, I can help you with yours if you need me to. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let me do mine real quick. Let me just end off with that. That was a good two-hour session. Hit points, hit points, yeah. hit points. Hit points, hit Dang points. <laughs> Freaking rolled a three. Oh, man, and level, level, this is what, level seven now? Uh... <laughs> what do I roll? Okay, so you're going to go to the gear, and it's the character uh, uh, all the way at the bottom. Oh, come on. 
It's the launch level plus character mancer, the second one. And you you might need to put in your own subclass information. I think your subclass is in the thing, so just give me a second. Mm -hmm. um, I don't want to. Um, maybe it will roll. Watch it. <laughs> oh, fucking one. All right. Awesome. <clears throat> um. Still below thirty hit points. Yeah. Wait, what? Yes. Holy shit. <laughs> I just hit 50, my dude. <laughs> um, so you can either roll average, which is six, or um, roll for it. It's, uh, I believe rangers get a D8 plus your con. All right, I would just take that then, yeah. You roll again. Oh, whoops. Oh, well. You got, you got the same thing, so. Um, then go to features. You get land stride, you are level eight, so you need to go back. Did you already do this? Mm -mm. What level were you before? Level six. Why did it do that? Uh, can you can you cancel then? Uh, cancel. Yeah, discard and exit. Let's see what happened. Oh, I see what happened. Oh, because you manually changed that? Mm hmm Okay, then go back to the character mancer. Um, all right. Then I get to add more spells. I would just put in, put in the, the eight. Keep the eight? Yeah, keep the eight, because that's what you got when you rolled. So just keep mm -hmm. rolling until you get eight again. 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 Holy shit. Again. 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 There we go! There we go. There we go. <laughs> Alright, now go to the features. Oh yeah, you get to choose your defensive tactics this level. So, uh, I believe you can check all these by clicking on them. Um, escape the Horde. Uh, opportunity attacks against you are made with disadvantage. Uh, Multi-attack of defense. Oh, when a creature hits you with an attack, you gain a plus four bonus to AC against all subsequence attacks. So if an enemy has multi-attack, um, once they hit you the first time, you get a plus four AC until their turn ends. So that's not bad. Especially because we're getting to the point where most monsters are going to need to have multi-attack to keep up with this. And then you have saving throws against being frightened. Um, and, you, and that's it. It's one of those three. I personally would do multi-attack and defense, but Escape the Horde can be good if you just want to stay out of melee range. But you're not bad at melee range. Because mm -hmm. you can still use your decks even if you're mm -hmm. in. I just think it multi attack. Okay. Defense. Yeah, just gotta just gotta keep that in mind. Just remember that. All right. And then you get more spells. You get level two spells. Finally. Mm -hmm. What do I get? Um. You can choose one more spell. One more spell. Yeah. Or you can replace some of your old ones. And you just get silence. Or no, you have you already had silence. Mm -hmm. No, I get I just get silence, I believe, from something to do with my background. Oh yeah. Um I mean we've never used Fog Cloud before. No, we did. Hold on. Let me let me look at Hunter real quick. Nathan, you're, you're, you're all good. You already figured out everything. Yeah, I just got evasion, still has some mind, and a key. Well, key is good, because you don't get, like, any as a monk. You have locate object, right? I do. Okay. I mean, I can get lesser respiration. Um... Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, it doesn't look like you get any special attack, uh, uh, spells from your hunter subclass. So. Mm -hmm. I mean, find traps, but mm -hmm. not really doing that. Yeah, not really doing that. Okay, animal or plant. I mean, I don't know why good berry. Oh, you can do good berry. Yeah, I know. That's what I was going to say. That Just would be a real. Flog, cloud. Good flog cloud. And do good berry. You get to choose one more total. Mm hmm. Spike growth isn't a bad one. It's kind of situational, but, like, ranger spells aren't even the best anyway. Speak with animal. <laughs> I mean. You can also do Cure Wounds. I th I just think Goodberry would be good, because that's a spell slot that you use to either... It, it can be used to just give 10 hit points back, just like that. Because mm -hmm. each berry is uh, one hit point. You get 10 with each cast of it. And in combat, you, you're not really using those spell slots. You're, you're more out of combat. Well, you got mm -hmm. Hunter's Mark, I guess, but... That's why I was going to get rid of Fog Cloud and do... Yeah. Like cure wound or jump. Mm, I don't know if we're ever gonna use jump. I would do like spike growth if you want another combat one. What is spike growth? So you make an area, um, so twenty foot radius area. Twists and sprouts hard spikes and thorns. It's difficult terrain. Um, when they move into the area, it takes 2d4 piercing damage for every 5 feet it travels. So it can really fuck something up. Okay, yeah. And I mean, I can move, with my tabaxi, I can move on difficult terrain. Yeah, but you won't be able to move through it because it's... Any creature that can't see the area at the time the spell is cast must make a perception check against your spell. And it's not bad. Uh, the only problem is it's concentration based, so you won't be able to use it at the same time as Hunter's Mark. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's up to you if you want to do that. There aren't any other spells I would really take over that, except, yeah, no. except maybe Cure Wounds. Because that can just be a good just heal. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Garden hands. Throw your empty tomato cans in the garden. Let the tomato plants know you're getting impatient. 1920s shit. Oh, dude. Can we show you the game these features? Or cleric. What do, I, what do I get at level 7? It won't let me fucking <laughs> put my spells in. Divine Sense increased? Uh, so Divine Sense is uh, really dumb. We have yet to use it. Um, just go to Apply Changes and then you can look at it under your abilities. Mm -hmm. I mean, honestly, it might have been useful for this last, like, arc. Um, so... Keep going. Keep going. Where is it? All right, I might need to put that in. <laughs> oh wait, you're a revised ranger. Hold on. So at level 7, you get the Ranger Conclave feature. You already got that. You have five spells known. You have four first level spell slots and three second level spell slots. Um, that's right. They took that out. They I took it out? They, yeah, Divine... divine uh, what, what, is, what is it called? What did it say it was? 
Divine yeah, Sense. Divine Sense. Divine yeah, it, it didn't do anything, so they I think they just took it out of uh, mm -hmm. Revised Ranger. It was basically a worse version of Primeval Awareness, um, which honestly we should have been using this whole arc because you just get to know where all the fiends, fey, or whatever are in the area. Um... Yeah, anyway, did, did, did my uh, relationship bump up? Yes, a little bit. <laughs> I recognize you as kindred spirit. Oh, you have an innate ability. You got this at level three. You have an innate ability to communicate with beasts, and they recognize you as a kindred spirit. Uh, mm -hmm. You can communi communicate simple ideas to a beast as an action. Uh, read its emotional state, uh, blah, blah, blah. Mm hmm Additionally, you can attune your senses to determine if any of your favorite enemies lurk nearby. Oh, it would have worked for beasts, not for us. Yeah, for okay. beasts. That's why I was like, wait a second. Oh, wait, it's beast. Okay. Mm. Um, did you choose a greater favored enemy last level? No. Okay, so you could choose either aberrations, celestials, constructs, dragons, elementals, fiends, or giants. You gain all the benefits against this chosen enemy that you normally gain against your favorite enemy, including an additional language. Your bonus or damage rolls against all your favorite enemies increases to plus four. Okay, yeah, we didn't do that then. Mm -hmm. So which one of those would you like? I mean, not to... I don't know. We'll look at it tomorrow. Okay. Well, let me just um, adjust your favorite enemy damage then. And that will be determined. Oops. Yeah, okay. Just 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 remind me because you um we're going to have to choose your greater favorite enemy. Um but other than that, I think you're good. Um your HP went up? Mhm. Mm okay. Um okay. Oh man, you don't Before get. Before we go to bed, we you don't, all hear a ding. You don't get it. You don't get anything next level. You know what you get? <laughs> you get beginning at eighth level. You can use the dash action as a bonus action on your turn. Or wait, no. You, I I don't think. No, 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 no I don't no, have no, no. that as a bonus action. Yeah, because your uh, your uh, feline agility it doesn't count as a bonus action. Mm -mm. It's uh, when you move on your turn in combat, you can double your speed until the end of your turn. Mm -hmm. You can't use it again until you move zero feet on the neutrons. Okay, so you could just fucking do that and dash at the same time. You're gonna be fast. Fast kitty. Alright, so that could be good. I don't uh, know how this, uh, this, uh, snow leopard became a cheetah, but she did. <laughs> To be fair, all kit, all all tabaxis get that stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, I think I get new spells that I just have always prepared. Yep, freedom of movement and stone skin. Yay! At seventh level, I get nothing. Okay, that's fine. I get nothing new except fourth level spells, which are great. I'm honestly okay with that. I am okay with that completely. Septic drop from Compendium. Ooh. Yeah. Call of Cthulhu. Oh yeah, that's free right now, I think. Mm -hmm. On what? Rule 20. Rule 20. Huh. 
Cool. That is a fucking ridiculous game because, like, I don't know. I can't even describe it. Alright. Is a child screaming? Not this child. It's one of the four children that were. Three or four children that were kidnapped. Nine. Three or four. I don't even know how many there were. No, there were four missing, but we're not sure if one no, of them. No, that's missed. what I mean. That's what I mean. Mm-hmm. Happy Easter, everybody. Expand the burb. What do you want to do? You told him, Alice, you pick me up right now. I don't, I don't want to go to Kingdom Hearts. I'm sorry. We're not going get... back to Kingdom Hearts. Oh, God. Hey, guess what? I get fucking banishment this level. Which is great. I had fun. Oh, like, no! You know, if it was a bunch of running around. Yeah, yeah. I, I had a lot of fun with this uh, this episode. I, I don't know why. I felt like I was getting tilted last episode. I'm sorry. Yeah. Maybe not tilted, but like... You know what I mean. Yeah. I'm gonna fucking put banishment in my spell list. <clears throat> oh, we fill we we cleared the dead children puzzle. Aren't you proud of us? No. No. I would have figured it out sooner. <laughs> There's one DM I follow. Uh, they're uh, one of the, the guys from Something Witty because they do the Baldur's Gate. Every yeah. time they finish combat, he's like the DM says. Ah, you've, sol- you've solved my devil and demons puzzle. The answer was kill them all. But there, you didn't kill any children. There actually are there uh, there actually are some puzzle fights in Baldur's Gate, which is interesting. Oh, nice. I mean, they're not good puzzles, but. Yeah. I have to close up nuts. Close up your nuts. Say. Nathan, when did you want to do the second part of your one shot? Uh, whatever you guys want to. Of course, it's probably going to be a three shot now. Um, yeah. Because this last time it took too long. Um, we'll think about it. I don't think. Uh, okay. I'll think about it. All I have going on these days is D and D, so yeah, don't really. Same. Ah, I have fucking... only fourth level spell slots. I'm so pumped. Ah, must be nice. I'm about to find out how nice it is. Yeah, it must be nice having more things to do. That's the only thing I get though. This level, I don't get anything special until really next level. Whatever. Uh, what do I get? Eighth level. Divine Strike. Once on each of your turns when you hit an, a creature with your weapon attack, you can cause the attack to deal in an extra D8 damage. When you reach 14th level, the extra damage increases to 2D8. I don't think I've honestly hit anything with my Warhammer yet. No, I, I have. On the ship. That one ship battle. Yeah. Bye, Nathan. I got control water. Can I control the water inside someone? No. Oh, shame. Divination? What's divination? Oh, that's a spell type. I'm an idiot. There is a spell called divination, though. Your magic and an offering put you in contact with a god or god's servants. You ask a single question speci- concerning a specific goal, event, or activity to t- occur within seven days. The DM offers a truthful reply. The reply must be a, might be a short phrase, a cryptic rhyme, or an omen. The spell doesn't take in, in, into account any possible circumstances that might change the outcome, such as the casting of an additional spells or the loss or gain of a companion. If you cast the spell two or more times before finish, finishing, there's a blah, 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 blah. All right, that's interesting. I don't know if I'll ever use it, though.
Wait, am I doing this wrong? Okay, thank God. All right, freedom of movement. Where do you have that? Guardian of Faith. What does that do? I hope it's another radiant damage thing. Let's see here. Guardian of Faith. A large... What the fuck? A large spectral guardian appears and hovers for the duration in an unoccupied space of your choice that you can see within range. The guardian occupies that space and is indistinct except for a gleaming sword and shield emblazoned in the symbol of your deity. Any ho creature hostile to, to you that moves to a space within 10 feet of the guardian must first, for the first time on a turn, must succeed on a dex saving throw. The creature takes 20 radiant da damage on a failed save or half as much damage as on a successful save. That is not concentration based. What the fuck? Why are clerics like why are clerics like this, pilot? I don't know. I just get a fucking guardian that's just like, hey, I'm here now. You gotta fuck with me before you fuck with them. And he's just like, here's 20 points of radiant damage, just like that, fucko. It lasts! Eight hours, or until it deals a total of 60 damage. What the fuck? Oh, and I get locate creature this time, so we can finally go look for Salmon. Oh, nice. That's super dumb. Okay, locate creature is not the best spell. And then finally, stone shape. What? Stone shape is different than stone skin? Turn the flesh of a what? Uh, resistance to non magic planning. Okay. What? Stone shape. Name my baby crow. Raven. <laughs> So, okay, I get two... Name my baby crow. Uh, yeah, you didn't like that name? No. Okay. Uh, so... Wilfer? Hmm? Wilfer? What did you name him? What did you want to name it? Raven. Raven. <laughs> <laughs> See, he liked it. Burb. So, okay, okay, okay. No, I'm gonna name it Poe. There are four... There are two fourth level spells that I get. One is Stone Skin, which I have heard of. It, uh... Make until the spell ends. Uh, the target has resistance to non-magical bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage. The other is stone shape, which I guess I've never heard of before. You touch a stone object of medium size or smaller, or a section of stone no more than five feet in any dimension, and form it into any shape that suits your purpose. Oh my god! You could t shape a large rock into a weapon, idol, or coffer, or make a small passage through the wall. I get fucking transmutation! I'm a fucking alchemist! Jameson Hampire was like my most serious character. He is anime man. Man with two oh, ends. 
He is a fucking JoJo's he up, character. He upgraded from human to anime man. He is just a fucking JoJo character that fucking took a pit stop in a, a Nemestris. <laughs> just fucking... <laughs> the fuck? That's crazy. <laughs> One of these days, I'm going to make a transmutation wizard. It's only one action, too, which is crazy. never take tongues, Scott. I don't know. I never prepare tongues. I guess I'm not the person that usually talks. Motivational speech? Interesting. Life transference. Equal to my level, plus I get 12. So I have a question. What? Was one of those imps a beast? Or was that just you fucking with us? What do you mean? 
You know how uh, Kristen hit that thing and it did like nine damage plus two for the... Or was it just because it only had like nine health? Yeah. Okay. All also right. silver, it wasn't weak to silver. Well, the thing is, most devils and demons, their resistance to non-magical bludgeoning, piercing, and... Uh, non-magical, non-silvered bludgeoning, piercing, slashing... The silver is to get there, get around that. But if they're if they're, uh, they were just imps, correct? Yeah. Okay. Let me just double check them. Yeah, because imps are like level two enemies. I'm surprised that they even had them. Um. So imps, for example. Um. Yeah, yeah, so it looks like uh, this is just what it says on their damage resistance. They resist cold damage and bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing from non-magical attacks that aren't silvered. So if it wasn't silvered, it would have taken half damage, but it yeah. was, so no big deal. They're also immune to fire and poison and poisoned. Ah, that makes sense. They can polymorph into rats and ravens. Fucking imps. Alright. 